This is a video for making the circular pattern feature. Um, comes in uh, act uh, Activity 5.5a, CAD model features. And this is what it looks like. We're going to make this little feature. We're going to revolve it. And um, that'll be our three-dimensional uh, surface. And then we're going to use a circular pattern outside of Sketch to create this whole pattern. So let's go ahead and get started. Choose part, start 2D sketch. I'm going to start on the XY plane and I'm going to draw in the upper right hand quadrant like I like to do. We need to draw a little box and there's different ways of doing this. I'm going to do it by using the line. This needs to be less than an inch. That looks good. This one is half an inch. This one is something longer. And you notice I'm not putting in exact dimensions. I'm going to add the dimensions in a moment. 0.5, and then we come all the way down and complete this little shape of ours. So a little trick sometimes if you don't get the little dotted line that you want, you go and hover over it and then go back where you were and you'll get it. A little closer to the... Uh, to the axis that I want to be, so I just moved it up a little bit. I choose construction, construction, yep. back to line, and draw a construction line across here, across the bottom, right click OK. Now, students often have trouble with this, getting this right. From the top of our shape to the construction line, is a total distance of 2.5 inches. From that line to the construction line is one inch. And from the bottom of our part to the construction line is 0.375. All right, so let's go ahead and move this, make it a little easier to see. And there's our part. So these, this dimension is not in the drawing um, in 5.5 A CAD model features, part one. They do have the five inch here and they have a one inch across the bottom. So obviously if that's half an inch and this line is an inch, then this one must be half an inch. So that's the only difference. I have the half inch there instead of the one inch down here. And I did that because it was just handy to do that while I was drawing. So this is the shape we want. Here's our two and a half. I can move it to the other side so it looks similar to the drawing. And we're ready to go. So we're gonna finish the sketch. And we're going to go ahead and revolve this around. So I click the revolve tool. It shows the profile. The axis is the construction line down here, not this line. We, there's a hole in the middle, so we need to choose the construction line. And that's what it looks like, and we hit OK. I'm going to reorient this. Make that my home view and make that my front view. Very nice. 
Now, one of the other reasons I wanted to do this was there's a dimension that I find that the students have trouble with. And that's this dimension right here. They have no problem seeing it. They all read 1.650. But they don't know where the 1.650 measures from. This line is not... Just doesn't give the precision that we want. That line is running along this surface and it runs to the center. You just can't tell because this little cylinder here is covering that up. So this 1.650 is from the center to that circle. Next step is to create a hole. So we need a spot on here for that hole. So we're going to create a 2D sketch on this surface. We're going to choose point. And we're going to put it right on that axis. We're going to choose project geometry to choose this whole surface. And we're going to dimension this distance to be 1.650. While we're here, I'm going to project the geometry for that one too. So, finish sketch. We can use the hole tool. And the hole that we want to make is half inch. And it's going to go all the way through. Through all and half inch. Very good. So there's our single hole. But we need a lot of holes. Right? One hole just won't do. We actually need 10 holes total. So we're going to use the, here in pattern, we have circular pattern. So we're going to choose that. And the feature is, of course, the hole. And now it wants to know, what's the rotation axis? So we can choose any one of these circular features. to uh, provide our rotation axis. Why not go ahead and choose the outside one? It's the easiest one to click on. And boom, 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 there's our little holes. But we want a total of 10. So we enter 10, preview looks good. We click OK. Very nice. Now there is something we're missing that you do find in the pictures, and that's this keyway. There is a keyway here and that passes right through the part. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and make that. We're going to put a sketch on this front surface here. And I'm going to choose again two-point center rectangle. We use this in the axle, and it's a pretty handy tool. So we're right here in the center. And a typical keyway is an eighth of an inch. And you may not know the decimal equivalent for an eighth of an inch. Well, you can put in a fraction. You don't have to put in decimals. So that's what we're going to do. 1 divided by 8, tab, 1 divided by 8. And yes, an eighth of an inch is 0.125. So this is big enough for a piece of rod, a piece of square rod that's an eighth of an inch in all directions. Um, you'll notice that only part of it is in the material, 
in the part, and then there's another section that's outside of the part. So we hit OK. That looks great. Finish sketch. Extrude. And instead of join, we want to use cut. And it's going to be the entire thing. So we all. You notice the switch. As soon as we hit all, it changed from join to cut. Because it doesn't make sense to all for join. I mean, that would mean it would just go off in infinitely forever and ever to, you know, extrude into all air. It doesn't make sense. So it changed to cut. And we say good. And we hit OK. And we're good. That part is all done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Remember to save, 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 save.